All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is uh, the auto splitter and speedometer. So right now we haven't even played the game, but there are so many important things I have to talk about. And for this, I want you uh, to see my actual stream layout that I use right now. For this, I'm going to switch to uh, desktop capture. And you can see here's my life split. This is my game, and here's my t tutorial um, notes that I had prepared before. So to activate the auto splitter, so you know PC games have this really bad thing where load times differ from each machine quite substantially. So if I run this game against someone who has a really slow computer, then the load times will differ by like two or three minutes over the course of an entire run. And that is of course stupid because then the runs get entirely random, right? They're not comparable anymore. You can actually see who's the better player or who has a faster PB or whatever. And the way we handle this is with an auto splitter. And the auto splitter, what it does, it removes the load times from an actual time. So what you want, um, in order to activate it, you're going to edit splits. I hope you can see this on stream with my uh, bit rate, but it should be high enough. So you press edit splits, and then you can enter the game name. So what you do is you enter Star Wars, Jedi, Knight, something. I don't even find it now. Jedi Knight Academy. There it is. So you enter this. Then it says auto splitting and load removal are available by the fantastic Dread and Ziffy. Now you press activate and hey, you just got it. That's it. You can go into the settings if you want. And you can. So what I do, I deactivate start because this makes the timer start every time I enter the very first level of the game. I don't want that. You can leave it on or whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> But this is important, the split, that should be on, and the reset thing, um, that's not important at all. You can also turn it off or on. It resets the timer every time you enter Yevon 1, which is the first level in the game. All right, so now you have two different tabs here. It's One says real time, one says game time. So what you do now is you add your splits, okay, whatever you want. You can call them Localora, and then you add another one. Oh, you, you tell it like you... It's fuck Rosh, and then the end split is going to be fuck Kyle. Okay. Great. So we have our splits now, and I don't display them because they're not in my layout. I'm just going to use my other layout for this. And then I go into um, right click, and I, I, I go to compare against, and I set it to game time. Okay, so right now, when I start the timer, the timer starts going, and you can see that this is my real time, and here's my game time, but don't worry about this. So this is my real time. So when I load something now, the game time stops and the real time doesn't. I don't know if you can see that. So now I I pause the timer at 14 seconds, and I go to game time, and it's at 12 seconds. So I just remove two seconds of loads from the two quick loads I did in-game. That's how the load remover roughly works. I hope you got that. The really cool thing about it, too, is it auto splits every time for you you choose you you go into a different level all right so every time i finish a level i'm going to go into another one so i go to core one now and once i load core one it should split and it's not going to do that because the timer is poor i think or something yeah see so they are changed from core one back to which and it's split so basically we have our splits set up in a way that um that we have a split for each level and it splits every time we change a level. That's how the auto splitter works. So it's really cool. You don't actually have to do anything in this game. Uh, you just press start and the rest, uh, the, role, uh, the auto splitter does for you. So another thing you can see here, I have auto splitter and speedometer. So what is a speedometer? Speedometer is a really, really cool thing. You should definitely get in order to understand how this game works in my opinion. So we're gonna go back to this, the splits and this layout like nice and, and cleaned all this tutorial don't have splits at all and so what you do now you can download the speedometer on the speedrun.com slash jka resources there is a link and it's a thing you put I, th I believe it's an asl you put it into the live split folder into resources and then you go into your layout press edit layout and then you add memory graph and i believe it's under other no, it's under information. No, it's under, it's somewhere, I, I assure you. Maybe not, not this, this, this is it. 
it's the memory graph. So you press memory graph and then you go into memory graph and then you choose the Star Wars Jedi, Jedi Academy vectors no mounts. This is the right one. Okay, so you set it here. It's this address. Don't worry about this. This is all right. Okay, don't worry about this. And then what you get is a so this is right here, there's a zero and there's a graph. So as soon as I start moving, you can see how it tracks my movement speed, okay? But when I move faster, it goes faster, it goes higher. When I move slower, like when I, when I walk, it goes lower. I don't know if you can see that, but hopefully you can because this is really important. Because in a speedrun, you want to go fast. And if you don't understand how to go fast, then you're not going to go fast in a speedrun either. All right, so now that we all got this and you, we understand how this works, um, we can actually go into playing the game.